Hi, welcome to my channel. So it's my sister's bachelorette party, which is called a hen party in Ireland. And I'm a bridesmaid, so I'm um, doing a lot of organization for it. And I just thought I'd show you what I picked up and what kind of style we're going for. Um, she's not the typical club, alcohol, drinking, penis, straws kind of girl. So we're not doing any of that. So the plan is basically we're going to go for brunch and have a nice brunch. You can get um, bottomless bellinis and Prosecco and things. So I'd say a lot of people are going to be starting early. And then we're going to go to um, a, like this mansion, this like gorgeous house that we got on Airbnb. And when we're there, we're going to have a private chef come. We're going to play games and um, stay the night and it's going to be amazing. So um, it's more her style than the kind of bar hopping uh, penises. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what I picked up. So first up, every bride of course has to have the sash. Even if you're not into that kind of dress up scene, she still has to have the sash. So I made sure to get her a sash. So I'm going to put this on her as soon as I see her. And then also the crown that says bride on top. It has a little bit of sparkle on it as well, on the little ring. So um, I thought that was very cute. And another thing, if she wants to be a little bit more subtle, I got her this bride, bride clip to wear in her hair. I thought that was really cute. So no crazy feather boas or big costumes or anything, just kind of subtle little elegant costumes, <laughs> I hope. First up, I'll show you, we're gonna have a Pimp Your Prosecco bar. So I made up this sign and printed it out, so this is gonna be the little stand. It's really difficult um, going away to a house because you've got so much to bring. But, um, and this isn't even all of it, by the way. The other bridesmaids are bringing other stuff, but I'll just show you what I have. Um, some, for the cocktail bar, we got some paper straws. The colors are kind of rose gold pink kind of colors some cocktail umbrellas if anyone wants to make a cocktail we're gonna have a ton of different types of alcohol and then i got these paper um ring what are they called like name tags to go around the prosecco glasses so i'm gonna leave a little pen so people can just mark um mark their initials on it or whatever keep it on their glass because of these things when there's so many glasses going around you always forget which is yours and so this is just going to be a little bit easier to keep track of whose glass is whose. Some, oh, ring for bubbly bell, so little bell, so... So when you get a glass of Prosecco, you can ring the little bubbly bell. <laughs> I got some, oh, I thought this was amazing. It's um, shimmer, and it's flavored shimmer to add to your drinks. So um, I thought that was so cool. So it makes them sparkle, it makes your Prosecco sparkle. It's raspberry, blueberry, and black currant, so like pink, blue, and silver. So I can't wait to see this, to try this out and see how it works. Um, and then also some cocktail mixers. Um, they'll go in the bar, they're just kind of usual flavors. Raspberry, Bellini, Mandarin, blood orange, blah, blah, blah. So um, yeah, I thought they, they were so cute as well. I actually even love just the packaging. Like, I kind of don't want to take them out of the packaging and put them there because I just think the packaging is so cute. But, um, obviously, if people want to use them, we're going to have to take them out of the packaging. This gold tablecloth I put as well, just in case you want to put it underneath everything. Um, I've never been to this house, so I don't really know what there is or what kind of tables there will be. So, I'm bringing this just in case. We might not use it, but um, just in case. And then, the most important thing is a hangover bag because there's going to be a lot of drinking and we're starting early in the morning so i feel like people are going to need this hangover bag so it says i regret nothing on it and inside in here there is two dioralite um sachets so i googled it and it said that you take one before you go to bed and one when you wake up because you get so dehydrated when you're drinking so these will help um prevent and cure a hangover, hopefully. Oh no! Oh, I put vitamin C tablets in here and they got all broken up. Oh my god. I knew I should have put them in some kind of packaging. That's a bit of a disaster, but... Oh well. I mean, it'll still work. It'll just be in little pieces. Oops. And um, two ibuprofen and two paracetamol. And then a hair bobbin for just in case it all fails if you need your hair held back. So that is what is in the hangover bags. 
and um, I wrote it all out there um, and how many milligrams and how you're supposed to take them and things just um, for safety I guess <laughs> so a ton of the hangover bags I got these cupcake toppers so bride to be and it's gold and sparkly and a little engagement ring so we're gonna have like a snack table as well so I'm gonna put these um, on some of the snacks we're getting like donuts and cupcakes and things so they'll go in there um, this banner I'm not gonna take it out because it'll just be a whole big mess and um, I'll show you the photo though of how it's gonna look but it says bride to be in gold glitter so that's gonna be hung up when we get there then a big bag of balloons so as soon as we get there I feel like we're all just gonna be taking 10 minutes to blow all of these up but there's a lot of balloons in here they're kind of champagne bottle balloons love heart balloons love letters balloons um, bride to be balloons engagement ring balloons there's so much um, so that the house will be nicely decorated as I said we're having a chef come to the house to cook us dinner so I got this gorgeous gold sequined tablecloth so I thought this was so cute and as soon as I saw it I was thinking that my sister would love this so I had to get this for her hen party or bachelorette party however however you want to say it okay we're doing um, a guess the presents game where everyone brings a little gift and um, she has to open them all and guess whose is from who and there has to be a funny story behind it so my, I can't show you because it's wrapped already um, I'll put a photo here showing you what it is but it's basically um, she loves salads and she always tries to push salads on us as much as she can so um, we always sing you don't win friends with salad you know from the Simpsons is from the Simpsons you don't win friends with salad so I got her this so hopefully she'll guess who that's from that's a little plaque anyway that, oh yeah, so she doesn't know it's an overnight stay, so I have to have an overnight bag for her. So I got this Miss to Mrs. bag, and in here is all the things she'll need for her, an overnight stay. Well, I got her this bride cap, so in the morning if she's so hungover and just wants to hide her head, um, she can hide it there. This um, eye mask, eye mask with a gel pad, so that can help her hangover as well. That says Miss to Mrs. as well. So hopefully that'll help her if she does get hungover. Um, a pack of pajamas, so just pink and white striped. Uh, then all the boring stuff, toothbrushes, facial wipes, deodorant, toothpaste, and underwear. So she's bringing, I told her to bring a spare pair of clothes and that she doesn't mind getting muddy, so she'll have something to wear home. And and also, I said the muddy thing because she thinks it's going to be something terrible like a farm hen because that is not her style. She, I don't think she'd like one of those farm hens where people go and milk cows and things. Not her style, so hopefully she's a bit terrified that it is something like that. So that'll be a surprise that she's staying overnight. And then in here, oh yeah, so I'm so, I'm so against waste. I hate one-use things, but... I kind of felt like I had no choice because we're going to an Airbnb. I don't know, is there enough bowls? Is there Prosecco glasses, like bowls for snacks and things? And you know, we're going to brunch and we're going around first. So I'm going to have everything in a suitcase. But if I have glass glasses in there, Prosecco glasses, they're probably going to break. So I, I had to get plastic glasses. And I feel really guilty about it, but um, I had to get plastic this is why you don't send your husband to do your jobs. I asked him to get Prosecco glasses, he got wine glasses. <sighs> I know it's not a big deal, but I prefer drinking Prosecco from Prosecco glasses. It'll do. And then same thing, like I couldn't bring a ton of plates and bowls, so I had to get paper stuff, which I really feel horrible about. Also, there is this, there's a lot of gold sequin, but, um, that's the theme. So anyway, another gold glitter from Miss to Mrs. So that's going to go on a cake and then some pom-poms. I just put them in here. These have to be done there because if you un unravel, unfurl the pom-poms now and then put them in a suitcase, they're going to get crushed. So this um, we're just going to have to do there. And then I also have a ton of, of course, food and we have drink and mixers and we're gonna have breakfast and there's so much more stuff and um, and then games to play what are the games we're doing um 
well, the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Quiz. So we got her fiance to answer a ton of questions and um, see if they can match up their answers. I'll put a link to the questions um, that we're using in the description below if you do want to check it out and see um, what kind of stuff we're asking her. Another game we're playing is Scategories. So um, basically with the letters H-E-N-S because it's a hen party. So um, I'll link that below as well if you want to check that out. Um, I think we're going to do the toilet paper game where you go in teams and you have to dress a bride with toilet paper. Um, karaoke, I have a giant speaker and um, a karaoke machine that I'm bringing. It is so, it's like the size of a big suitcase. So, um, might struggle with that, but we're bringing karaoke. She's obsessed with karaoke, so we had to have that. So that's it. That's all the stuff I got. I'll do little videos um, from the hen party itself and just show you how it all looks put together. Um, and some of the stuff we got up to if my sister doesn't mind <laughs> sharing. Hopefully it doesn't get too messy. And so that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.